because his views on the Klan had been cemented in his mind for years. Perception. Then he goes on to say how he believes in separation of the races because he finds that to be in the best interests of all races. Davis is one of the few African Americans you will ever find attending a KKK rally. More than attending, he is welcome. I got more respect for that black man than I do you white niggers all out right. there. I'm about to get in the intro in a minute, man. But um, just wanted to put a little disclaimer out. Not even a disclaimer, man. Like, I posted this video on the Patreon because it was a Patreon-specific uh, request. And it caused such a fucking wave on my Patreon because of what it was about, man. Um, y'all see. Y'all won't, won't, won't be able to see the fucking comments. You know what I'm saying? Cause the comments from the post. But it just it just highlighted a lot of things to me. Just brought attention to where we are in society, man. And with even with that being said, like I did not expect I was surprised by the reaction I had to listening to this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But um yeah. Enjoy. What up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy STV Knight. Bot to get on one of these things, you feel me? What's good with my Patreon family? What's cracking with y'all, man? Hey, jumping on some of y'all requests. Y'all trying to get him motherfucking some shit today. Adam Calhoun, racism. Y'all said y'all wanted to hear my thoughts and my perspective on what Buddy speak on. So here it go, man. Um, yeah, uh, just heard Adam Calhoun one, no, twice actually. I heard him on um Crip song. I just did a reaction to uh. Uh, Broad Knacks, and it was him, Adam Calhoun on that on that thing too. So, uh, and the spitting look, got the shirt on. This wasn't even intentional, bro. I'm just saying. So I just threw this on. Uh, I'm doing a couple reactions today, so I was like, okay, all right, y'all know, y'all y'all been on my stance on this motherfucking thing. So let's see what Adam, Adam Calhoun got to say about it. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, it ain't too controversial. It's gonna make me fucking say some triggering. You know what I'm saying? Shit that's gonna get motherfucking stern. But you know, I'm good. I don't give no fucks. I'm gonna I'm speak my mind. You know what I'm saying? So let's do it. If it's your first time pulling up, though, go ahead and press that subscribe button real quick, man. Join the family, Night Nation. We out here all day, every day, grinding the grow, growing the ground, trying to chase that of me and stuff down now. You feel me? Patreon family, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for support. Thank y'all for everything. You know what I'm saying? Without y'all, couldn't do none of this shit. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Adam Calhoun. Oh, shit. What you got up for me, boy? What you got up for me, boy? Let's do it. Hillbilly. Fuck you rapping for? Crack your ass, cracker, got your rubber flag with your camo hat backwards, stains on your shirt. Oh, was that him saying all that shit? Oh, Hillbilly, cracker, nigga, white trash. Fuck you, nigga. That that wasn't him saying that N word, was it? Cause if he is, he lost me already. But I think it was two different people saying that shit. Hillbilly. Fuck you rapping for? Crack your ass, crack it, got your rubber flag with your camo hat backwards, stains on your shirt with your fucked up teeth, piece of shit truck broke down middle of the street. Old lady bitching in the passenger seat, smoking like a chimney, kids in the back can't breathe. Got a kid on her lap, smack his ass if he speaks, always wearing white beaters cause her ass can't be. Okay, that's white trash, but what about a hillbilly? Redneck motherfucker, never even near a city. Out in the woods, hunting deeper than the wolves. Get that big old buck, bring them home, eat until they fall. Or they out in the shed, on the side, drinking shine. Old lady bitch, you better bring your ass aside. It's way past nine, you've been drinking all night. Gotta get to work on time. Yeah, um, the beat is hard as a motherfucker, man. I'm waiting for him to tie together because he's talking about like two different classes of white. Well, white trash and rednecks, unless he's saying them saying they're both the same and put them all in one boat. But I think he's directing energy towards two different types of uh, classes, uh, two different types of like stereotypical white folk. You know what I'm saying? But um, maybe I'm jumping the gun prematurely. 
I don't see where racism comes to play in this shit yet. You know what I'm saying? Let's just, you know, talking about how people are looking at him, view him maybe, but all right. Shine. Old lady bitch, you better bring your ass aside. It's way past nine. You've been drinking all night. Gotta get to work on time up before the sun rise. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. They What the fuck you rapping for? Nigga ass, nigga got your second pants with your ass hanging. What the fuck you rapping for? Nigga ass, nigga got your second pants with your ass. Yeah, Y'all know how I feel about that shit. I don't say it myself, man. And I don't know. That just, that definitely made me feel some type of way when he said that shit. <laughs> That definitely made me feel some type of way when he said that shit, bro. So I mean, I I, I don't get it. I'm uh, I'm missing something. I'm missing something, but alright. What the fuck you rapping for? Nigga ass, nigga got your sagging pants with your ass hanging out the back, hanging out in front of liquor stores selling crack, just so you could put some 24s on your Cadillac. Baby mama bitchin', you ain't taking care of business. All you do is smoke weed, run around with other bitches, and you can't keep a job, cause you in and out of prison. Guess it must be Trump's fault, cause you making bad decisions. That's about niggas, but what about black folk? Raise their kids right every night. Mom and dad are home, hunting for a job, not crying about a. Yeah, that boy ballsy. I, I see what he doing, man. I see what he doing. That, but that's ballsy as shit, bro. That's ballsy as shit, bro. Like, what makes him feel so comfortable just saying that word in a song like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, but I know what he's doing. It's just that that word is so divisive. And I, as much as much as much as I've done consciously to take power away from that word, even though that's why I don't say it because it's divisive as shit. They can't say it. We can't say it, man. But to hear him just so comfortable throwing it around in the song. Even though he's speaking about it like in a positive manner, man, but like, and then like that's his definition of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's crazy. That's crazy. I've never seen anything like that before. I've never experienced anything like that before, man. Like, bruh. Hmm. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. <laughs> that definitely makes me uncomfortable. That definitely makes me uncomfortable. Even though it's, it's with a positive message. Even though it's a positive message behind it. That's how strong that word is to me. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. My damn heart beating, dog. And this song is old as shit. I can, I can feel my pulse just. That's how powerful that word is, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm just blinded by it. Even though he's, even though he's touching on what he's touching on, you know what I'm saying. He's pretty, pretty much saying racism is racism, no matter where you're from, who you are. I get the message, and he's he's directing this towards the motherfuckers who look at all black folks a certain way. You know what I'm saying, and that's and then he used the N word and provided his definition of it. The the stereotypes often associated with the uh, with the stereotypical black man that's like trying to mess up society and shit, you know what I'm saying? Said selling drugs and put 24s on your rims, baby mama drama out inside, out in front of liquor store, you know what I'm saying? Like he's trying to paint a negative, a negative image and associate the N word towards that, which that means that's his definition of it. But that's not the here nor there, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not the here nor there. Like the N word is the N word is divisive. It comes from a fucking bad place. Y'all know my stance on it, man. I can't help for feeling uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? My emotions definitely got in my way of looking at this shit rationally, man. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I had to fucking check myself, dog. I'm 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 all over the place, bro. I'm like, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue. Privilege, crying out the God, stop the violence where we live in. Fuck it though, you a nigga, and I'm just a cracker. They pin us against each other, sit back and they watch it happen. In the hood, they selling cracking, killing over shoes and jackets. In the trailer park, they fall apart, a bunch of mad addicts. They call me redneck, 
white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my hands. I don't care, kiss my hands. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my hands. I don't care, kiss my hands. They call me redneck, white trash. I can't, I can't, I can't, I, I get the message, but I can't, I get what he's doing, I get what he's doing, it's, it come from a positive place, but I can't, I can't, I can't rock with it, man, I can't rock with it, because, they call me a white trash cracker, I don't care, kiss my ass. He's like, y'all can call me what y'all want and don't bother me, kiss my ass. I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he, he defined the stereotypes as how society views it, and he identified that. He identified with it. Like, that's where I am. That's where I'm from. If you want to call me that, call me that. I know who I am, so what y'all think doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool. It's all fine and dandy. But then he, then he but he's trying to compare being called that to being called the n-word and i don't feel like those are interchangeable synonymous depending upon your race you know what i'm saying like we all i'm not about to dive down the fucking abyss talking about where the n-word derived from we all know that's a terrible fucking it came from a terrible place and i don't feel like him using stereotypes and prejudices against him where he's from compares to the n-word pales in the comparison you know what i'm saying pales in the comparison so i i get I, I appreciate the intention behind the message but he lost me trying to compare those two like i <laughs> I am who I am. I get called what I'm called. Like, people don't like me rapping this, that, and the third. They call me a cracker, white trash, all that shit. But it, it don't matter. It's all about what you put into it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to get upset by what the fuck they call me. And if the if if the N-word didn't run as deep as it did, then I could rock with it, man. But, the, like, so much death and turmoil and devastation and tragedy and, and it means it's just, and it's still prominent so much today despite how black folks feel about being called that it's it, like you can if you were to strip that away and just if you were to strip that away if 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 everybody that's black could just let go of the feeling that they get when they hear that word it wouldn't matter if you still got white people or other people who f view us a certain way and use that word to label it and still give us that energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could act like that shit doesn't matter to me, but if I run into a situation where, where <laughs> my life is in jeopardy because of what this motherfucker thinks of me because of the skin because of the color of my skin is there's nothing I can do about it you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying like I'm not white I can't compare my situation to you know the types of situations white people may find themselves in if they're being racially discriminated against you know to the point where their life or safety or their freedoms are come into jeopardy you know what i'm saying and i'm talking about situations where it, it's you know clear cut that this is based on racism you know what i'm saying you know how many videos have we seen stories have we heard personal situations i've encountered myself where i'm made to feel less than and not safe and and all that just because of how I look. So that word just runs deep. <laughs> like I wish it I wish it was just I wish I wish it could just be as simple as just letting it go. Don't let it bother you. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't it ain't that easy. It ain't that easy. I wish it was, man. So yeah. This video made me hella uncomfortable. <laughs>
tried to get it through it best I could as being, you know, objective as possible, but that's too difficult for me to do because I have never seen nothing like that with somebody so open, so free, so comfortable just spewing that word out despite his intention. So, um, yeah, man. I don't know. I, I probably rambled all over the place. I apologize if I did that. But, uh, yeah, that's just what it is for me. I, I can't rock with it, man. Can't rock with it. Can't rock with it. Comparing white trash, cracker, redneck to n words. I can't compare it. They're not interchangeable. They're not synonymous. They don't hold the same weight at all. At all. So, uh, yeah, man. Um curious to see the fucking comments as far as this video is concerned so <laughs> floodgates about to open man um yeah uh yeah if you fuck with that fuck with this like and subscribe <laughs> night nation we out here yeah i gotta i need to take a shot or something you know Woof. wake up patreon family love y'all appreciate y'all thank y'all for everything man and uh yeah i'm out